Welcome to another TBC Classic video. Today, we're looking at the fastest way to reach Exalted with the Consortium. Aside from the various rep rewards they have, the other incentive here is to reach Exalted to obtain the best level of free monthly bag of gems from an NPC in the Grand. If you don't know about this hidden monthly quest, I have a video on the topic that explains everything in under two minutes, so click the card on screen now or check the description and the comments down below for a link. So without further ado, let's get to it. Your rep standing with the Consortium starts at neutral, so as you'd expect, your first goal is to reach friendly to unlock more options for earning rep. This is a common theme with the consortium and we'll cover the new options at each rep bracket as we go. I'll also include a link in the description and comments to a guide with quest links as towards the end of this video, specifically the section on stasis prison keys, it can get a little bit confusing even with visuals to assist. So to start, you're going to want to make sure you're level 64 where you can pick up a recruitment quest in the Grand from either faction central quest hub that kicks off the consortium quest lines in the Grand proper. Now this quest will eventually lead you to Ares Landing where you'll unlock two more quests that will become repeatable after you complete them for the first time. A head full of ivory, this sees you kill Elex in the Grand for three tusks to hand in per quest, and stealing from Thebes, which sees you collect Oshagun crystal fragments from Aetherals around Oshagun, or collect them from the floor nearby as well. One thing to note is you can purchase these quest items from the auction house to save yourself a little bit of time, so check it out for prices. And another tip here is to only hand in one of these quests to trigger the repeatable version, and then to repeat that quest until you reach friendly, at which point you can then hand in the other quest to bank a little extra rep. It isn't the end of the world if you don't do this, but it's a little min-max trick worth mentioning. Alternatively, or in combination with these repeatable quests, you can also run normal mana tombs for consortium rep. Heroic mode works too if you've unlocked it. So once you've reached friendly, you're going to unlock the next quest that is similar to the previous two and will become repeatable. However, this time the item is soulbound, so no using the auction house to speed things up. The quest is called Obsidian Warbeads and asks you to collect 10 Warbeads from the Ogres at various compounds in the Grand. And if you're level 67 or higher at this point as well, you'll also unlock another set of quests in Neverstorm just south of Area 52. The key one you want to look for here is another heap of Aetherals. This will ask you once again to slay Aetherals and collect 10 items, this time being the Zaxxus Insignia, which I'm sure, as you've guessed, also becomes repeatable. There are several other opportunities for consortium rep from quests in Neverstorm. Area 52 has 10 quests, the Mid-Realm Post has 7 quests, and Stormspire has 7 as well. So in addition to this, at level 68 or above, there are two more areas in Neverstorm that open up for quests. Tulaman's Landing with three more, and the Protectorate Watch Post with another 12 more quests. Completing all of the available quests in those areas will net you at least 8,175 Consortium Rep, as well as progress some of your Shatar Rep and earn you gold in cash and iron rewards. If you've reached a point of completing all of those quests, you still have a few options left for Consortium Rep. Mana Tomb, as I said before, provides rep on normal mode up to Honored, but of course then from Heroic mode, it provides rep all the way to Exalted. The Obsidian War Beads and Zaxxus Insignia repeatable quests also provide rep up to Exalted as well, which leaves two more options to cover for the rep. So once you've hit Honored, a quest line will become available at the Protectorate Watch that allows high level Aetherals in Outland to begin dropping the Aetherum Prison Keys. This is used to open prisons containing NPCs and monsters at the Aetherum Staging Grounds in Neverstorm. So the prisons basically contain either a friendly NPC that provides 500 rep with a random faction in Outland, which of course isn't really the ideal way to target consortium rep, or the prisons release a monster that can be defeated for an item called the Ethereum Prisoner ID tag, which then in turn can be handed back in at the Protectorate Watch post for 250 consortium rep. And lastly at the Revered is the other method, which is another questline that becomes available again at the Protectorate Watch post that unlocks another route for rep farming, though this might end up being more of a group orientated method as it involves elite mobs and the Mana Tombs dungeon. So you can basically turn in five of those Ethereum prison keys, I hope I'm saying that right, to acquire an Ethereum Stasis Chamber key, which unlocks a stasis chamber at Bashir's Landing in Blades Edge Mountains. An elite marble will then be released that has a chance to drop a mark of the Nexus King, which then in turn is used to open a stasis chamber in Heroic Mana Tombs, which summons an extra boss, the Void Hound Yor. Now the quests involved to do that are all part of the final quest available as part of the Consortium Rep that spans over another further six or so quests that give another 2,000 rep. And once again, a couple of these then become repeatable, allowing you to repeat the stasis chamber steps of those quests for more rep. So as I mentioned, those last methods clearly require a party's involvement, so depending on your guildmates, it might be easier for a solo player to focus on the Obsidian Warbeads and Zaxxus Insignias for rep alongside any mana tomb runs that you can do. On top of that, it can all get a little bit confusing with which key or ID leads to which reward, so please check the link in the description for a written guide and all links to all quests that have been covered in this video. And with that, it's the end of the video. Like and subscribe to see more content, ring the bell to never miss a video, and if you'd like to support the channel further, you can become a member for cheaper than a Twitch sub with all the benefits plus more. Take care, and hopefully I'll see you next time.